Hi, I'm Paul Braun, Director of the Materials Research Laboratory here at the University of Illinois. Um, since the Materials Research Laboratory was founded almost 60 years ago, we've been a world leader in research in fields of material science, physics, chemistry, and the biological sciences, uh, cross-cutting all of these disciplines through the world-class facilities, faculty, staff, and students that we've had uh, working with us for many years. The MRL is home to research groups from across campus, groups performing advanced synthesis, characterization, and fabrication of materials. The MRL is home to many important centers, including the National Science Foundation, MRSEC, the BP Center for Advanced Materials, the Illinois Quantum Information Science and Technology Center, multiple Department of Energy centers for uh, advanced materials for energy, uh, centers for energy storage and solar energy harvesting. Um, all of these centers are housed within the MRL uh, and these centers enable us to perform uh, cutting edge interdisciplinary research. The MRL provides within its central facilities over 140 tools for advanced characterization and fabrication of materials, uh, which we will show you over the next couple of minutes. We look forward to seeing the research you will do at the MRL when you come here. Instrument access, training, and research support is provided to all research, academic, and industrial institutions in the country every day of the week, all year. The facilities are maintained, operated, and enhanced by professional staff scientists and service engineers who provide training and research support to researchers, postdocs, graduate, and undergraduate students. The Materials Research Lab staff scientists are mostly composed of PhDs with decades of experience in research and instrumentation and strong publication records. Over the past years, several of our training sessions have been improved to include remote access to instrument operation. The facility's user base is large, with more than 900 users per year covering over 30 departments on campus, in addition to 50 other universities and corporations. Out of this total, around 75% of researchers are undergraduate and graduate students, which highlights the strong educational mission of the facilities. The hourly facility's user fees are perhaps the lowest in the nation. The MRL central facilities are divided into seven cores of shared instrumentation based on the various methods and applicability. The electron microscopy core provides a full suite of tools for sample preparation and microstructural analysis of materials at sub-nanometer scale. The core offers six transmission electron microscopes with diverse capabilities including the Themis z Analytical High Resolution STEM with Energy Dispersive Spectroscopy and Electron Energy Loss Spectroscopy, the Hitachi 9500 with environmental capabilities for dynamic studies, including wet, gaseous environments, and the new Glacios Cryo TEM with direct electron detection for structural biological analysis. Two dual-beam focused ion beam systems, the SIOS-2 and Helio-600, are available for 3D materials processing and automated liftoff, in addition to four scanning electron microscopes with EDS, electron backscattering diffraction, and cathode luminescence capabilities. We also offer a multitude of tools for sample preparation, including a PEX-2 ion beam polisher. The nanofabrication core includes five Class 100 cleanrooms featuring two electron beam lithography systems, the Wraith E-Line and the new 100 kV EBPG for sub-10 nanometer features processing, a Heidelberg MLA-150 massless writer for lithography, a Nanoscribe 2-photon 3D printer with sub-micrometer spatial resolution, in addition to fume hoods, ovens, and mask aligner facilities for photolithography and etching. The core is complemented by 12 deposition tools featuring atomic layer deposition, sputtering, and electron beam evaporators, along with several dry etching tools and a full suite of furnaces, bonders, and parameter analyzers. There are four physical and magnetic property measurement systems for transport measurement down to millikelvin temperatures and fields up to 14 tesla that were added to the core. The Service Analysis Core provides time-of-flight secondary ion mass spectrometry for chemical analysis at parts per million and parts per billion levels 
chemical bonding, and structural analysis via X-ray photoelectron spectroscopy, Rutherford backscattering spectrometry, and ion implantation capabilities using an NEC ion beam accelerator that was recently upgraded with a dual ion beam injector, and a newly added atom probe tomography system, the LEAP 5000XS, for 3D chemical analysis of materials at near atomic resolution with chemical sensitivity down to parts per million. One of the largest cores in the facilities is the laser and spectroscopy facility, which provides a variety of techniques, such as spectrophotometry, photoluminescence, infrared spectroscopy, contact angle goniometry, and ellipsometry. Some highlights are the Kian's 3D Optical Profiler for large area topography and curvature analysis with a 20 nanometer vertical resolution. The NISPEC Nano FTIR NIM providing FTIR imaging with 20 nanometer spatial lateral resolution. The Nanophoton Confocal Raman Microscope with line scan for fast image acquisition and two custom-built setups for time-domain thermoreflectance to study thermal properties across materials interfaces, in addition to magneto-optical effects using titanium sapphire lasers. The scanning probe core comprises a variety of tools to investigate materials topography down to atomic resolution, in addition to local electromagnetic and nanomechanical properties. Four atomic force microscope systems are available, including the state-of-the-art Cypher AFM with advanced scanning modes in air or liquid environments. Mechanical properties of materials are investigated using nano-indentation methods in our Hyzotron triboindenter and the Puma nanoindenter, ideal for biological and soft materials, even under wet environments or totally submerged in liquids. Crystallographic structure, phase identification, and composition of materials is provided by several tools in the X-ray analysis core of the facilities, including a LAU camera, dedicated diffractometers for powder materials, texture, stress, and microdiffraction analysis, and X-ray fluorescence for fast quantitative elemental analysis. The new Bruker D8 Advanced XRD system includes TRIO primary optics for fast switching between focusing and parallel beam configurations, and a large Iger II aerial detector capable of high resolution or large area analysis, including reciprocal space mapping and 2D texture and stress. The tool is also equipped with environmental capabilities for in-situ analysis of materials at temperatures up to 1200 degrees Celsius under various gaseous environments. Additional capabilities include a four-circle expert MRD system and a SACS wax system with environmental capabilities. The Center for Excellence in Soft Materials is a facilities core focused on the processing and analysis of soft materials in particular, polymers and nanoparticles in solutions. It offers techniques based on thermal properties, size measurement and exclusion, and mass quantification, such as differential scanning calorimetry, differential thermal analysis, thermogravimetric analysis, dynamic mechanical analysis, rheometry, gel permeation chromatography, zeta potential, and particle size analysis. The MRL Shared Facilities makes efforts to add new tools and develop or modify current instruments in order to stay aligned with new and upcoming research needs. The facilities are also actively involved in several outreach and educational activities within our campus by offering workshops and topical conferences and providing lab activities for campus classes and summer camps. Thank you very much for joining us on this tour and we look forward to seeing you in the near future.